Look how red my face is. I don't know. I've been hot. working hard. I'm so hot. Just don't tell her husband. It's <laughs> gross. <laughs> Uh, I just mopped the floor. That's why my face is hot. Red. Look at that nice clean floor. Just in time for somebody to mess it up. Okay, I just want to share a pet peeve real quick. Let me tell you this pet peeve. You know when, says, when someone says that they're going to do something and then they back out? Does that make you mad? Or is it something that you can forgive and you're like, eh, whatever. Um, that is probably one of my biggest pet peeves. No, that's not one of my biggest. It's one of them though. Um, Emberly, I'm going to ask you a question. When someone says they're going to do something and then they back out last minute, does that like frazzle the crap out of you? I would say yes, but you're talking about me. No, I'm talking about what just happened. We've been spending the last couple days preparing to have our landlords come because we're going to move and we need to check everything off. So we're cleaning like crazy and I feel like I'm like outside of my body half the time. And what do they do for the how many times? I think they've done this like three or four times they already. Literally, so like last year in 2016, they canceled like three times and then they canceled twice. Take your shoes off. Yeah, so just now yeah. I'm off the floor and they text and say, hey, what? um, where's the we're tape? We're gonna have to cancel. Are you okay if we reschedule? Freaks me out. I feel like when someone's gonna come over anyways, that um, follow through. That's just kind of how I feel. And then they cancel, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> Hi vlog. Ow. Don't step on that. I'm dragging a cord. We're gonna go put a movie on and put some stuff in boxes. Sound fun? Oh no! Can I eat? Can I eat chocolate and marshmallows and um graham crackers? Mm. No, but not Someone cooked. Wants, you go talk to your dad. But not cooked. Mom, but not Please cooked. Don't play that game. We're playing that game. Uh, can, we, can we have s'mores? Hello, Let's go talk to your dad. Mom, they haven't seen me all day. They no, they haven't. They have to see me. Because then they'll die if they don't see my beautiful face. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Gosh. <laughs> Oh. Whoa, who said? Who said ask mom and Whoa, don't get grounded. That would be bad. Jake, what did you tell her? If you can make them in the microwave. Yes. Teach them how to make microwavable s'mores. Yo, yo. Guess she can't go to Sarah's. All you do. Just kidding. Put a s'more on a gram. Did you tell her to go to Sarah's? I said to ask mom. When you guys play that game, it's so freaking stop. Did you ask mom? <laughs> Did you I ask me? I asked mom and she said ask you. So then I said to ask mom. Just stop playing the game. Make everyone die. Are you okay if she spends the night at Sarah's? Or spending the night? Or just a late night? She can spend the night. You can spend the night. Hey, come here. You might want to change those shorts first, though. Yeah, change your shorts. You can't go out looking like a hooker. They're a little short. <laughs> Does she look like a hooker? Change your Not shorts. A hooker, but... Oh, come on, Emberly. So dramatic. We're moving. We're moving. Eventually. <laughs> What's the worst part for you about moving? I don't know how sore I get afterwards. Did you want to want to hear a fun fact? You haven't helped us move the last three times. So I kind of don't feel bad that you're stuck doing a lot of the work right now. Stuck doing a lot of the work. Okay. Well, I could, you know, somehow end up with a whole lot of calls since I haven't been there in a long time. Possibly, but guess what? <laughs> Let's think this through for just a second. When we went to Alaska, you had to go up first, didn't you? No, I couldn't go up through the border. Oh, that's right. So we drove up and... Because at the time I had a criminal background. <laughs> that's right. That, was, that hadn't fallen off his record yet or something. 
TMI that doesn't really matter because it was dropped. You know people are going to be asking about this now. They are going to, but that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, it was mm, dropped. What did I do? <laughs> it was dropped, so that doesn't matter because it didn't really matter. Actually, <laughs> so me and my cousin drove up through Canada. With the kids. With the kids. Bridger, Amber, and Austin. Austin. I yes. had I had Curtis, Curtis and Theron, and with, Theron me. with you because Curtis gets car sick and I wasn't gonna deal with it. And For four days in the car. Jake had the baby, so she didn't have Theron to deal with him a, either. Yeah, Theron was a baby. I was pumping every time we stopped or every time I wasn't driving. Anyways, we, we uh, Alan, my cousin, fell asleep at the wheel and said that he missed a caribou or an elk or something, which was a lie. Anyways, so we made it up there. Jake didn't even have to help with the hard part. Ah, uh, but I did help with that move. A little bit. I, I did. Yeah. I helped pack everything. In and the, the apartment movers there came. On, on 1100 South. Yeah. And then the movers came and packed everything up for us because they were shipping it up to Alaska. So I helped right. with that move. It was the move from Alaska down here that I didn't help. I helped pack. But I didn't help do anything else. But you then again, they... You didn't help the very end, Mary Jo, come and I had to clean the rest of the yeah, house. Yeah, I didn't you help with the cleaning. That. That's right. Or most of the packing. Yeah, but the only move that I really, really missed... Was Pocatello. Was the Pocatello to here move. He missed completely all of it because he had to come down and start work. I had to come down to work and start at St. Mark's um, a week and a half before they were leaving the house. Yeah, so with the cases who we used to be really good friends with. Well, we're still good friends with them. With Jared. Jared and his new and wife. And Sammy. I don't know that we're that tight. No. Anyways, doesn't matter. They helped us. Um, not Sammy, but anyways. <sighs> they helped us move down, and that was awesome because I didn't have any help. I didn't have hardly any help, actually. Um, anyways, so we I are getting bad. ready to move again. This and time it's not as far as any of those moves, luckily. No, we're moving close to my dad. Up north. Up north. In northern Utah. Or... It'll be great. But the part that sucks is the packing. Do you hate packing? What is your what do you like about packing? Um or moving? That I can organize it. <laughs> you know what I like? I like purging. You know what I don't like about packing? Me purging? Opening up a box and finding that there's only three items in a huge, ginormous box because Miss I Suck at Tetris put them in there. I can play Tetris. <laughs> not when you go shopping, you can't. Not when That's you not either. real Tetris. <laughs> I like purging. That's the part I like about... I you like, like purging. Yes. I love feeling... Yeah, she loves purging so much that I got rid of... She got rid of all my camping stuff, all of my fishing stuff, uh, all of my outdoors, anything... I had to. ...up in Alaska. And then we found out that we didn't have to pay for our own move, that the company was going to pay for no, it. No, they did, but they still paid by weight, and we were still overweight. Yeah, oh, I don't care. You still got rid of all my crap. And I still haven't replaced a lot of that stuff. I'm sorry. Well, most of that... Was like halibut stuff. We're not gonna go halibut fishing in Utah. No, but what if I go back to Alaska and go halibut fishing? Well, then you can hit Kim Crandall up because she bought it all, <laughs> right? Probably. Anyways, um, do you not like purging? Sometimes. I love the feeling of like getting rid of nearly everything. She's she she literally. I've, I'm looking at getting rental trucks. And she goes, well, you're going to have to get a dumpster, too. And I'm like, a dumpster for what? She's like, we have to get a dumpster rental because... We're going to get rid of a lot. We're going to have to get rid of all of it. I'm not putting anything in storage. I refuse. I work storage. Do you know how long people stay in storage? We're not going to stay in storage for more than six months because we're going to get a house. And then move all of our storage into the house. We're not putting But anything. technically, there's not a lot of anything here that we need to put in storage. And so, yeah, I'm good with junking a lot of it. Let's junk it. So here's the thing is we, we, ha we bought a couch in Pocatello that ended up kind of being crap. We thought we spent really good money on it, and I don't mm, think we did. We got ripped. It felt like pieces of it broke in multiple places. It's falling apart. It's, it's a real <sighs> it's a piece. Yeah, it's unfortunate. 
I liked it at first, but I hate it right now. So it's going. It is going. These are couches that we currently have, they're kind of crap. But it's okay if we keep them and take them to an apartment. Yeah. Well, not and then only we can that, garbage them and get. I can get a new set. I don't think we're ever gonna get them to sectional again. No, I hate. No, it's too. It's too hard to put somewhere. Anyways, but um, also. The other part, yeah, I just like I like purging. These girls are goofy. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Yes. Oh, cute girls. But that's what's coming up is moving. Jake wants to get a moving truck. And guess what? He's going to be here for it. <laughs> yep, that I am. And I'm getting two dollies. Not the ones you play with. Oh, I was like, oh, well, that's weird. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, E.B., get out of his face, weirdo. Anyway, did you have a favorite part about moving? Nothing? Didn't I say I had a favorite part? I don't know. Maybe? I don't Probably even remember did. what I said. What's your worst? What do you hate about moving? Oh, I said the organization. Oh. What I, I hate about moving? The opening lacquer. boxes and... Finding out we could have fit so much more into the box. Well, you're in charge of moving. But those boxes out there that reach the ceiling are packed to the hilt. I'm sure they are. With sheets, anything in that laundry room. With what? Shelves. Sheets and blankets. With sheets and stuff. Sheets and stuff. And books. They're and full stuff. of sheets and Just stuff. Sheet. Lots of, lots of sheets. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was funny. Anyways, all right, guys. Thanks for watching the vlog. Sorry, it's another lame vlog, but we kind of teased Emberly tonight. Was that mean? Do you think that was mean? That's the parently thing to do. <laughs> she was a little emotional tonight, too. We don't need to go around there. <laughs> I think it's funny. She's thir she's almost 13. Next Friday, Cinco de Mayo is Emberly's birthday. She will be 13. We'll have a teenager. Another teenager finally in the house that we haven't had for a girl teenager two, two years. Mm -hmm. 19, one year for a one girl year teenager. Since she doesn't like us teasing her. She knows the game of us saying, "Go ask your dad. Go ask your mom. Go ask your dad." She hates it. Yes. Hey, we're adults. We get to play the same game they used to play with us as little kids. I think it's a funny game. Well, I'm gonna ask mom, but if mom says no, I'm gonna go ask dad, and I'm gonna do what dad says. But we're on the same page. Theron actually did that today. Did you know that? Mm -mm. Hey, mom, can I have s'mores? I said, did you talk to your dad? And he, and he says, yeah. And I said, what did your dad say? Well, he said no. And I says, well, then my answer is no too. And he said, and then I said, did you um, you knew dad said no? And he goes, yeah. And I says, then why did you come to me? Did you think I would say yes? And he goes, kind of. <laughs> He's still a little young to know that. But I stopped him. Work! Did he get s'mores? No? They did get s'mores. Did they? Yeah, at the end of the day, we ended up letting them go down into a Oh, microwave. yeah, they made some in the microwave. Uh, secret hack. Do you know how to make a s'more in the microwave? Yeah, you've taught me. 12 seconds. Yep. Graham cracker, okay, chocolate... Okay. Marshmallow. 12 seconds. 12 seconds. Then Top put it. your... Lit it. Perfect. It melts your chocolate and everything. It's perfect. Perfect. The only thing you don't get is the fire... Yeah, you don't get the roast. Smoky, roasted marshmallow. But it's still good. 12 seconds. And it's and all it's melted. And it's cool because you watch the marshmallow go... Yeah, it's great. Great times. Anyways, thanks for watching the vlog, guys. Sorry it's another boring vlog, but we'll do something better tomorrow, okay? Anyway... Stay limony and awesome. Bye.